funny thing is, I did nothing different. <laughs> Just change the pace of the video. Um, but I do need to go share this link everywhere since everybody now has the incorrect link. Hello, hello, hello. Now it's working. Yeah, no, now it's working. Sorry, there's sunlight in here right now. I don't know what was going on. Um, hold on, though. I need to find a new link for this to share. Yes, I did. I got it fixed. We'll wait for the people that wanted to watch this to, to come back. <laughs> really frustrating. I, I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, I got off the other one and got on this one and literally did nothing different. So I have no idea why it did that. I don't know. YouTube just doesn't like me. I have to reshare this link um, on the Facebook group and on Instagram because I can't get it right. <laughs> Hang on a second. I'll come back to you guys. Honestly, though, it um, it feels. Uh, yeah, they do. It feels um, appropriate because it's just how my day feels today. Like, um, as I was trying to get ready for this, like, things just, it just kept dragging on. Like, I kept uh, having more things to do. I had to do laundry, I had to do this, I had to do that. And it's just like, I'm very tired today. Like, I'm really, really tired. So, um, I don't know, feels appropriate that it didn't work, so. <laughs> Hopefully that was the correct link. <sighs> oh, thank you, Milas Odell. Thank you so much for the super chat. That is, I very much appreciate it. Um, I do have a buy me a coffee link in the description too if you guys ever want to do that. They don't take um, percentages, so you were on a live for an hour the other day and not a single person got on. Like it was you or you were on somebody else's live. Yeah, I need to figure this out. I, well, I need to, it's, it's working, but like I need to share this link to Instagram. And delete the other one. I'm very sorry about that though, that sucks. I'm sorry. Delete this story because apparently I don't want people looking. <laughs> Am I going to. I keep, like in my head, I say Osurba. <laughs> Um, yes, I am going to mini convention. At least the plan is that I'm going to mini convention, so. First three sort boxes, that's awesome. Um, also, I figured out how to make it full screen, <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> I feel like, um, well, every time I've been doing live streams, there's been like bars like on the side of the um, the video. It's been driving me crazy because I couldn't figure out why it was doing that. And uh, weirdly enough, it's because there's two on the on the M50. There's a movie manual and there's a manual manual. I always, whenever I'm shooting like YouTube videos, I use movie manual. But apparently, if you want to do YouTube videos, um, I think it has to be on regular manual. It's it's really weird. I don't understand. The camera does not make sense to me sometimes. 
it's one I think that the M50 <laughs> I think that the M50 is one of the only ones that uh does the well I don't want to say that now because it makes me sound old school there's probably lots of them that do it now but like when they uh hook up to the camera without like one of those boxes I don't know what I'm talking about you guys I don't know you know what I'm talking about with the, just the USB cord um yeah and I will try my very best to get to um the chat but with these live streams I can't always get to it um because I just get to doing the rabbits and I don't always see all of the messages so keep at it with YouTube it does take a long time but once you I mean even even me though like still like now that I monetize I still feel like it's very slow going sometimes like sometimes I just feel really discouraged which I don't know I really shouldn't but I don't know sometimes I really do I just I've been feeling really discouraged a lot lately, but about many things, but I don't know. I feel like I'm not as peppy tonight as I usually am. I'm sorry about that, guys. Also, my hair is like just crazy. To, I don't know. My hair needs washed, and it just looks crazy to me. Come on. Ooh, that's so tight in there. Here we go. Um, I need to clean this. It's a little dirty. Let me just scoot you guys back a little bit. Hopefully you don't fall off my desk. Don't know if it's going to get dark while I'm doing this stream or not. Hopefully it doesn't, but if it does, I'm going to have to go get the ring light because I didn't bring it in here. I didn't bring coffee in here with me this time. I had it before. You can't hear. It doesn't need turned up, you guys. Is it really low? Let me know if the sound needs turned up a little bit because I can definitely do that. Okay. Everything is turned up all the way. Well, I can turn it up just a little bit more. It's probably, it's just my microphone's like way over here. So it, if I get a little bit closer to it, you'll probably be able to hear it a little bit better. But there's sunlight right here. All right. Honestly, I need a new tattoo pen needle. I think that after um, my last live stream, I was like, uh, what is it? The three and the five point needles. Uh, and I had a five point, oh, hang on, sorry. I had a five point needle and I usually use a three. No. Uh, and I was trying to decide if I liked the three or the five better. I actually do think that I like the three better because it feels a little bit more precise. Um, And I don't mind going over it a couple of times. So I don't know. I think that I like I think that I like the the three point better. Gosh. So um we butchered eight rabbits today. Um, picked up some coals from my friend and also, we had some here that we needed to call. Um, and so we were butchering. I use an X-Acto knife for that. And I cut my finger with the X-Acto knife. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, actually. Probably not. But it's like, see the sun? It's like right there. And I don't know. It doesn't really look that bad. I just got alcohol in it, though, and it's like, 
it hurts so bad. I'm gonna try to scoot a little bit this way. The sun is after me. Also need to text Jameson and make sure that he fed the dogs because my door is closed right now. Three dogs doing a week. That is fun. I think, I'm trying to remember when my does are due because I have Sparrow and I have Vanilla due. Oh, of course, I move out of the sunlight and then it goes away. Oh, wait, coming back. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I think they're due. Let's see. Oh, it's on my website too. Uh, Vanilla is due on the 30th and Sparrow is due on the 29th. Um, if one out of ba out of ten babies isn't getting fed, like if it's just like one, sometimes that happens, and usually they become faders, and unfortunately they don't grow properly a lot of the times. Like they they're a lot smaller, so we end up calling um, small. Like when you sometimes when you look at them, you can just sort of tell when they're not going to make it, and we'll call them because I would rather call a baby that's that's like that instead of letting it die naturally because it's so sad to watch them waste away so usually we take care of it um but yeah there's not a lot that you can do sometimes when when they don't get fed properly or they just fade they're just the, the like the less stronger of the bunch so a lot of the times they don't make it unfortunately Hopefully I can actually get through all of these rabbits that I have in here. There's nine of them in this litter. And honestly, I am just so tired. Okay, I turned up the volume just a little bit. Let me know if that's okay. Hello, Kristen. We have not done anything yet. <laughs> We've had many technical difficulties and now we've just been sitting here. It's been great. Mom bought me a cup of coffee. Thank you. <laughs> you guys do not have to feel obligated to do that. I, I put that link in the description sometimes and sometimes people will. It's just a way to say thank you for the content, but do not feel obligated. Like, please do not feel obligated to do that. Um, I don't want to ask for stuff like that. <laughs> so, but I really greatly appreciate it whenever I do get stuff like that. So thank you so much. But yeah, um, move the mic a little bit closer too. Thank you so much, Daisy Mae. You guys are awesome. My hair is not going to look great in this one. Don't care. It's going back in a ponytail. So I can't stand it right now. <laughs> That's the one thing about having long hair is that sometimes it literally drives me absolutely up the wall. Like right now, I just can't. I just want to shave my whole head. <laughs> Rex rabbits, I don't really have an opinion on them. Oh yes, the quail lovers, I love it. But this is a shirt that you can buy on my website if you ever wanted one. Um, but yeah, so Rex, I don't really, uh, I don't really have an opinion on them other than they're very soft and like the tries are really pretty. They make good meat rabbits is what I've heard, but I don't have personal experience with them. So uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you really. 
But anyway, okay. <sighs> it's one of those days where I just feel like I don't have the strength to do this. But I have to get the rabbits out now. So hang on. We will get the first one out. And I'm going to try to weigh all of them and take notes and everything. And I actually really need to um, take photos of them too. And I'm sporting sweats today, guys. Don't even care right now. <laughs> so I do have them in here, though. They're just in here. They are, I believe, nine-ish weeks old. I think they're a little over nine weeks old. Might be ten weeks old. I don't know for sure. I just use a digital scale that I got from Amazon. And then I put a cake pan on top of it. <laughs> see if you can see the bun bun. Hello. It's sunny. <laughs> this is a repeat breeding. I do like this pairing a lot. Unfortunately, there are seven bucks and two does. <laughs> Last time I checked anyway, we're going to check them again today. But yeah, so many bucks. And we are starting off at... TS 180. So that's even, that's gonna be really fun to have to do all of those eights. Yay! I'm so excited. Let's see. Look them all over. You have some funky hair, my dude. It's probably a dude. Yep, that is a buck. Check for broken toenails, broken toes. Gotta do the whole nine yards with these guys today. I don't usually sell rabbits that are under 12 weeks old. But with this litter, I might sell a couple of younger ones to a couple of people that just want meat rabbits. Just because this is a repeat breeding, I kind of know what they're all going to look like. Some of them are going to be obvious coals, though, I bet. And their silver is also still coming in, so there's that. It's not a bad looking little buck though, for sure. There's, I think that he could use a little bit more depth. Wish there was a little bit more height on him, but very wide. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. I like the hair, as long as the silver ink comes in. The only thing about him is I don't know if he's pinched. I don't... Might be just a tad bit pinched. But yeah, definitely could use more depth. Needs to silver out. So he will be 180. Man, the sun is making is gonna make things so difficult for me. <laughs> this is numbing spray. In case you guys are new, anybody's new, this is just to numb their ears when we tattoo them. The youngest I would show a junior. Well, I mean, I would I would show them 
anytime after 12 weeks. I sold, or I sold, I uh, showed a couple of Creme de Argent Juniors that were just over 12 weeks old, but they also had really nice grow rates. So um, they got first in class. Both of them got a leg first in class at my last show. My last show was a triple, so. I got cords everywhere from my from my debacle earlier. Um, I don't tattoo obvious coals, but this guy's not an obvious coal to me. I actually kind of like him. Just wish that he had a little bit more depth, but that is something that he can be paired nicely with. So he's five pounds, one point two ounces. And I'm sorry, you guys, it looks really spotty because of the sun coming into my window. It will go down soon. And we'll, it'll look a little bit better. Um, why do you, why do some does have a ton of babies and some only have a small handful? Um, it really depends on the dough, honestly. Well, honestly, I think that sometimes it can be random, though, because Cassie's last litter she had, uh, well, the litter before this one, she had four. And then her current litter, she had 10. So uh, it's just sometimes really random. I haven't really found a genetic component with my rabbits yet. I do know that Mira tends to have a lot of babies. Um, oh wait, Cassia did. So, okay, it's really weird because Cassia had her very first litter she had 13, which was insane. And we had like a 50% mortality rate on them because it was her first litter. I feel like she didn't know exactly what to do. Um, so we had like 50% like of them died. And then uh, her second litter, she only had four and all of them lived. And then her third litter, which she has out in the garage right now, um, she had 10. And she's kept all 10 of them alive. So, it's been very random with her. <laughs> Try to poke your head out, dude. I'm sorry, you have to keep your head in. I need to double wrap these guys, too. It's like giving me the stink eye from between <laughs> the plot. There we go. Okay. Put you guys over here and hopefully you can actually see what's happening over here. Might have to adjust the brightness just a little bit. It's the Disney bunny burrito. So many of them today. Hopefully I get them all done. Let's see. <laughs> Camera's like, where do I focus? I'm trying I'm trying to get you to focus. Hang on. So, like I said, PS 180. Let's go ahead and get started on this one. Hopefully, this litter is easy.
did not even flinch. You are a good bunny. Um, yes, the wrong number, but not the wrong year. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> one like literally did not even jerk like once I don't know if I've ever had that happen I've had some good rabbits like that don't really move that much but I don't know if I've ever had one that does not move at all so get that touched up a little bit I've tattooed myself <laughs> accidentally Yes. Well, <laughs> I was just reading uh, the jerky rabbit comment. Um, yes, that's how my creams are usually. Creams are so hard to tattoo sometimes. I don't know. I don't know why if it's just like my creams specifically, but yeah. Um, if anybody is new here, that blue dot. Let me get in focus. Maybe. That blue dot on my finger, I don't know if you can hardly see it because the camera won't focus on it. Um, but that is a tattoo <laughs> that's been there for two years, something like that. And that was caused by Nitro, who was eventually cold. But yeah, he was crazy when I tried that too. Hello, so close to the camera you are. <laughs> The tattoo is a requirement to show the rabbit. So uh, it's a form of identification. Um, it is required to show, but also it's basically, I want, I want all rabbits leaving me to have a tattoo saying that they were from Teal Star, basically. So, um, so... I'm going to take some photos of him because I do kind of like him. I mean, he obviously needs to silver out and he needs more depth, which is the main thing is the depth. So, well, one of the main things anyway. I kind of like him though. He's got a good personality. Just a little thing. It's just too dang sunny in here. These rabbits have never been posed up before, so they're probably just like, what the heck is going on? Yeah, he's flat. It's still too sunny. Well, you know what? I'm just going to, like, write him down. We'll get photos later. Or does not even know what to do. Probably, I think that he's 10 weeks old. I think I need to really look. Hang on a second. I 
can't remember when they were born. He's not getting any more depth though, that's for sure. He's, I think he's flat. I love the fur though. And he's nice and full. Oh, I have some baby quails in here, so if you hear them, that's what, that's what's going on. Um, they were born. Let's see here. They were born on the fifth of January. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They will be 10 weeks old on Wednesday. Yeah, shoulders look nice, really wide. I'm wondering if he's slightly pinched and he's just flat across the top to me, but I do love that whip and I love that fur. And he's very, very sweet, which is what I'm looking for in, like that's what I want in Mira's litter because Mira's got a bit of a tood. But she does throw some nice babies. Yeah, he's a little bit flat though. No, not very old, but he's not gonna get any more depth. You're so cute. Yeah. Okay, so I'm actually gonna try something else. Uh, so I told you guys I was running low on, this is the tattoo balm that I usually use. I got this new chapstick. Fun fact, a lot of people are, well, I won't say a lot of people, some people are actually allergic to some ingredients in chapstick called flavor. I actually think that I am one of those people. So I ordered this chapstick on Amazon and it's made with all natural stuff like sunflower oil, coconut oil, and there's a couple of other things, but they sent me like a minimum of three of these. So I figured this would be like really nicely like this would be a really nice thing to use like on their ears for healing. So I'm using this stick of chapstick for them today. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? I'm responding to Holly. I'm sorry, you guys, Holly is helping me. Um, so Amorite, we thought she was pinched when she was this age. I don't know if you remember that. She didn't actually end up being pinched once she got a little bit older. Like, she got a little bit wider. I still think she was a little bit narrow on those back feet, just a little bit, but I wouldn't really call it pinched, really. This is a little one. Um, Kristen, I do not. I don't, well, I mean, it depends. You definitely can take them to a show. To get them evaluated, if it's one that I'm really, like, not sure about, then yes. But for the most part, Coles kind of jump out. Um, and then, well, I mean, to me, they do. This one, see, this one is like, okay, I'm not sure about this one. Uh, like, the, I judge them on, like, personality, too. So this one's already kind of, like, on my watch list for the personality. <laughs> Because this is how Chance was before we ended up calling him, and he ended up being like crazy. There we go. Okay. Um, if they have obvious like DQs, then I just call them. He's actually really nice. Once he stops moving around like that, look at you. You're kind of nice. Let's see. Um, but anyway, so the coals, when I say they jump out at me, I'm talking about, uh, the fur's too short or they're patchy or they're missing a toe or they have a split penis or something like that. So, um, those are what I'm talking about. But, um, if you have one that's kind of like, Ooh, I don't know, you know, if I like this one or this one more, then I'll take them to a show and show them against each other and see how they do and get some second opinions. Hang on, that's a buck, but I figured it was a buck because most of these are. You're okay. Oh, I forgot to check toes. I'm sorry, my dude. <laughs> this one has a weird personality. 
You're okay, you're okay, 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 okay. He does not want to be looked at. No missing toes, no broken toes. That's good. Also no white toenails. That's one thing that I look for as well. But I've never had a white toenail so far. <laughs> Knock on wood. You are crazy. Oops, this one's smaller. I mean, he's actually, he's kind of, he's heavy, but he, I think it's going to be smaller than the last one. Yep. Uh, four pounds, 7.7 .7 ounces. So that is kind of low. He is a buck. If I pause like this, guys, I'm writing notes. I'm sorry. You're a nut, my dude. So I've not actually had that many blues, so maybe that's why I've not seen any white toenails yet. Maybe, well hopefully I don't see any white toenails in my current blues, because I have like, how many blues do I have out there? Uh, three? I think I have three little blues out there right now, which is really exciting. White toenails are bad for silver fox, well, for black silver foxes. I don't know if they're, I imagine the red, eye probably I should know this. The red-eyed whites probably have white toenails, but also there's, there's not really a standard for them. I didn't even look at the toenails of the rabbits you gave me today. Good Lord, this rabbit. <laughs> Yeah, need to double wrap him too. <laughs> okay. I'll look at him a little bit more in depth in this after I'm done tattooing him. Jameson, did you pet the red-eyed white? So Holly gave me some coal rabbits today. Sometimes we do that. She'll give me some coal rabbits and I'll butcher them. And, and we did a bartering thing this time. I gave her a smoked rabbit and some eggs and she gave us some coal rabbits. Uh, and so this time she gave me some red-eyed whites, which I have never really had a lot of hands-on experience with. Um, so it was really interesting. When I came home, Jameson thought they were New Zealand. So I had to tell him, no, they are silver foxes. Silver foxes can be red-eyed white. It's really interesting. Um, he did pet them. He, he thought they were really weird. He didn't really say much about them other than that. <laughs> he called them albinos, which I guess isn't totally wrong, I don't think, but... I don't know if that's true albinism. Uh, albinism. I don't know. I don't know if that's what they actually are, but. Mirren is in here right now. And this litter 
is being so nice to me. <laughs> Maybe we will get them done after all. Okay. I didn't really know about the, I know like I was on a meat rabbit group and they were calling them like somebody at one point was just like, they wanted albino rabbits and like people were making fun of him, which, you know, people on meat rabbit groups can be brutal sometimes, but so that's why I figured, I figured they weren't actually albino. Albino is like a genet genetic defect, but um, red eyed white is like a, that's just how they are, I get. I don't know. I don't, I'm not very good at like the genetic part of thing. That's why I always have Victoria come in and like correct me because it does, it just goes over my head. I know the very, very basics. I am not ashamed to admit that at all. I will always have people like come in and like, be like, yeah, you can explain it. You're better at explaining this than me. I'm pretty good at like picking out nice rabbits, but I'm not really good at like saying why I believe they're nice sometimes. Like I, I just trip over my words a lot. Like I'm not very good at talking like judge-like, I guess. I'm not very good at that sometimes, but I know what a nice rabbit is and that's the most important thing, I guess. That's what it looks like when it's all done, but yes, this chapstick, I'm loving this. This is so much easier than that tub of stuff that I have to get all over my fingers. I just thought that I would give this one to the rabbits because I didn't. I don't need three bottles of chapstick. Gotcha. Victoria is the genetics guru. You are nuts. Let's put you up here and see what you look like a little bit better. This rabbit is kind of getting on my nerves. It kind of reminds me of Mira, uh, Mira a little bit, not Mirin. Mirin's my cat. Mira is the mom of this litter. <laughs> I mean, at least it, well, not, I was going to say at least it poses up well, but now it's pushing on me. Yeah, I mean, at least it poses nicely. It's a little bit crazy, but then it'll pose really nice. Stop, stop, stop. So yeah, kind of this, uh, I don't know if that's the way I have it posed, but the shoulders look not as great. It's nice and full. It's small, but it's full. Shoulders aren't as great, I don't think. But still not a lot of depth. I don't get a lot of depth out of Mira. Like Mira's babies. I never get a lot of depth. Yeah, do you see that too? I don't know. I think that the shoulder is kind of... I don't know. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't like the shoulder on this rabbit, I don't think. Silvery needs to come in still. So I'll just... <laughs> Like, okay, I'm gonna put you back. Get the next one up. Whoop. 
Okay, this one, you guys, is really funky. Look at this fur. That fur is coming in all mottled. <laughs> yeah, that's some crazy hair right there. Yeah, I know, they poop everywhere. That right there, I don't know who did that, but that was there when I brought it in. <laughs> You have crazy hair. At least it's not as crazy as the last one. Okay, okay. Okay, okay you're fine. They don't like the spraying noise. I don't think they mind the stuff in their ears, the spraying noise, it freaks them out. Oh, back up. Ooh, you're fine. Okay, okay, okay. Don't. <laughs> there we go. That is a buck. Not surprising. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna hold this one like a baby. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, I take it back. This one is crazier than the last one. This one does not want to be flipped. Okay, here, see? This is how you get on my bad list. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's the truth. <laughs> I do not plan on, ooh, I do not plan on keeping any of these guys unless I see somebody really exceptional, but um, I don't plan on keeping any of them though because I don't need another buck. <laughs> I have too many bucks. Yeah, this one is really dramatic. I'm not looking forward to tattooing it. Shouldn't have said anything. I always jinx myself. Oh, I forgot to weigh it. I don't know if you guys can read the scale. If I put it this way. Um, maybe. No, you can't. This one's smaller than the last one. Four pounds, 6.7 ounces. <laughs> My notes, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna be able to read this. The second one says crazy, the third one says crazier. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah, this one's gonna have some really thick silvering. And it's small, so. It's just a digital scale off Amazon. I don't think they sell the same one anymore. Um, it's just a, like a kitchen scale that goes up to 50 pounds. God, I hope it's not crazy. <laughs> it's... I'll go here. Take the cat. Can you see Mary? <laughs> Look at Mary in that ear. <laughs> She's like checking out the bunnies. <laughs> oh lord yes uh 
Tara's notes are hilarious. No, the tray didn't come with it. The tray is a cake pan. <laughs> We're not too fancy here. I would love to own a Winco scale someday, one of those really fancy Winco scales, but I don't really have that type of money to drop on a scale. Maybe someday. Or one of those ones that you hang from the ceiling. Those ones are kind of cool. Okay, we have the bun. Yep, whatever works. That's what I say. Okay, this is 182. Hopefully it holds still for me. Gonna have to kick Mirren out of here. Well, I don't know if she heard me, but she just left the room. <laughs> Actually, I think it's fine. I feel like the video is very blue. Let me fix that in a second. <laughs> you good? Yeah, shake it off. These rabbits are being super good about getting tattooed, honestly. Catch you in a minute. It just keeps shaking its head. A little bit better. Just fix the white balance a little bit because it looked very blue to me. Okay. I don't know. This one. This one's just a little bit crazy. Honestly, though, this one's too small to really see much out of. The first and second one were pretty nice, but this one is just a little bit 
It doesn't feel as nice. It doesn't look as nice. So I say let it grow and see what happens to that weird fur. Okay, this is... Gonna be 183. Not as crazy, thank goodness. This is a doe. Yay, we have a doe that is not crazy. <laughs> You're okay. I don't, nobody likes the teeth being touched. There we go. Just one second. Oh, I definitely get ink all over my hands, but also I always have a towel that's like sitting like on <laughs> on me and I I don't know. I I try to to rub the ink on the towel. You're okay. I actually love her shape just from looking at her, but well not her shape, but like well her roundness, I guess. She's very like round and filled out. So that is nice. More total though. Okay. Wait, did we not put that in your ear yet? I don't think we did. Put that in your ear. I definitely want to try purple ink sometimes. It sounds fun. She does not want this in her ear. Hello. Ian's being crazy. She does not like her front feet touched. There we go. Yeah, she's pretty nice. Over here so people can see you better. Yeah, I should weigh her. I like her a lot. But I cannot keep her. <laughs> I have too many. I really do like her though. She's got a nice wide shape. Really thick shoulders. I like her. Let wait you. I am so low energy right now. I'm just it's a combination of the daylight savings time. You're okay. And uh just having so much to do this weekend. She's a, a little bit heavier than the other ones, but not by a lot. So. Four pounds, ten ounces. I'm actually not upset about some of these. I mean, I know, like, they should be five pounds right now. They should be five pounds by now, but also I'm accounting for the fact that there were nine in the litter, so... That could be a reason why they're a little bit smaller. I'm not too upset about it. Mara's babies grow gigantic. I need to weigh roulette again and see what her weight is because she was five months old. She was 
ten and a half pounds, so she's a little bit older now, so we'll see what she weighs. Put your head in there. Ooh. <laughs> well, now we're gonna have to rewrap you. This one does not, does not want its head in this. You're okay. There we go. Double wrap the bun bun. I just read uh, Strix Nebulosa. I just read your comment. That is so awesome. I'm so glad that you have found the videos helpful, and I'm so glad that you've had success. That's really cool. I'm trying to figure out what I should do my next video on because I don't know it just feels like same old same old stuff around here right now there's not a lot going on and I'm having a hard time getting inspired But also, I think it's because I got so many rabbits right now. It's like, oh my gosh. Like, I've got, the rabbits are almost like a full-time job themselves. You're cute. I like you. I do like this doe. I think she's very cute. surprising that we actually have a nice doe because I feel like my does are ending up being the scraggly ones in the litter and I keep getting really nice bucks <laughs> let's flip it over a little bit more there we go
nice width, nice shoulder. That's a really good shoulder. Um, no, needs some depth. I don't want to say no depth. I mean, she has some, but it's, uh, I don't know. She's a little bit flat for, to be honest. Let's be honest. Um, nice fur, really nice fur. Needs to silver out more, but she's young. I like her. Yeah, I like her a lot. I think I'll probably end up selling her. Next, actually, I am down to my other set of cages, so let's put them. Let me bump up the ISO for you guys. There we go. What are you doing? You should not be there. You shouldn't be there. Yeah, this one has a really nice fur. I'm really happy with her. Okay. Somebody asked me if I carried the men one by one. I carry the carriers in. <laughs> they are very heavy. The next one looks like All right, there's three in this pool. Probably a buck. I'm glad that the sunlight is gone. It's gonna get a little bit dark in here. Hang on a second. That's truly bright. Cinnamons are fun. I don't hear a lot about people doing cinnamons. Okay. You're okay. Hi, baby. My dog Aria is like outside the door, but she can't get in here, so she's like staring me down. Actually, oh, let me bring her in and take Mirren out of here. Mirren keeps entering me in the back. I'm going to lay down now, okay? Ari has a dog bed in here. She always lays with me. Okay, let's turn you over. Yeah, that sounds kind of like creams, but I, whew, it does not want me to touch the, the nose or the face. Okay, hold still, lady, or dude, probably dude. Is it a girl? Wait, this one might actually be a doe. Hang on. Can't hardly see.
Yeah, this is the other doe. Well. Hmm. Oh, that's not as bad as I thought it was. She was holding her feet really close together, but I think that, I don't think that's how they actually set. I already like the other doe more than her, but I do need to pose her up. I just, like, the other one just kind of has that natural look to her, you know, where they just look really nice. Okay, I'm going to touch. She does not want me checking her teeth. Holy crap. Let's see how. Yep, they look good. See, that's all we had to do. This is all we had to do. The other doe was really full. This one's not as full. I wonder if she has more depth though. Um, not really. I don't like her shoulders as much as the other does either. I don't know. Her feet do kind of sit a little bit close together. Other girl would be my very first pick though. Both of them have a nice fur. The other one has nicer fur. <laughs> I'm sorry, but your sister is prettier than you. No, 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 no. Is it with you two? You do not want to be wrapped up either. Okay, okay, let's restart. Goodness, you're crazy. Sit, relax. Relax, <laughs> Lord. Something about when a rabbit is like freaking out on me, I just, I do this. I just pick them up and set them back down. Like, and it seems to work sometimes. Like, sometimes they're just like, whoa, what happened? Like when I'm posing them, I'll just like lift them. And it feels like, I feel like it kind of works sometimes. There you go. Let's get your face in there. No, please stay in. Please stay in. She's like... Oh my gosh, this rabbit will not wrap. No, I definitely like your sister more than you. There we go. Okay. No, you are not moving. There we go. Have to work quickly with this one. <sighs> okay. This is TS-184, which I've not even made notes yet. 184. Doe. Oh, I forgot to weigh her too. We'll do that afterwards. I don't think this is going to make it easy on, on me. The silver foxes have better temperaments to me, but this is my personal scenario. But silver foxes overall just have like a really docile personality. They're just very, very sweet rabbits. That being said, I have some creams out there that are incredibly sweet and I love them.
I will not answer sale questions on live streams, guys. I'm sorry. That's not really why I do them. It's just more for education, I guess. To nationals, don't forget to bring the rabbits. <laughs> um, but for real though, uh, extra food, hay, um, a lawn chair for sure. Basically anything that you would bring to a normal show. Maybe a few extras. Honestly though, I've never been to a nationals before. I've only been to convention. I am going to Creme de Argent nationals this year and cold water, that should be fun. Um, but I'm just gonna treat it like a normal show, really, and expect maybe to be there a bit longer. So pro probably pack something, like a snack or something too, I mean. My last show that I was at, I legit did not get a break and could not eat anything until, I don't even know what time it was, it was like two or three o'clock, and I didn't eat anything all day. I only drank coffee and I don't even know if I drank water that day so yeah that was not fun would have been nice if I would have had something you okay you're crazy you're a nut okay let's weigh this chick let's see what she weighs You need to settle. She weighs more than the last one. Okay. Four pounds, 14.4 ounces. Um, if you can, I mean, you have to you'd have to check with the specific nationals, but usually people leave their rabbits in the showroom, I think. I don't travel very far south, typically. The furthest I go is like Cincinnati, Ohio. Or, uh, I'll do Lebanon, Indiana too, but that's not very far south at all. Yeah, I'm not a fan of her shape as much as the last. So also her personality. Mm. I mean, I th I think I don't think that she's a bad rabbit, but I'm just saying I don't like her as much as the last one. <laughs> yep, she's I'm expecting the rest of them to be bucks. Yep, definite buck. You're okay. You're okay. Stop, 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 stop. Don't freak out. This one's freaking out. You're okay. You're okay. Just need to look at your teeth really quickly. They look good. Nobody wants their teeth looked at today. Yeah. 
this is long, a little bit long right here. Shoulders are wonky, a little bit wonky. Nice width. There's a growing trend with this letter. <laughs> Does not surprise me. This is almost exactly how it went last time too. I actually thought when they were really little last time that they had good depth, but then they grew up a little bit more. They have really good width, but not a lot of depth. But it hasn't really stopped Roulette from, from doing pretty well at shows. I mean, she's not like, she's never won. Let's see. Oh, wait, she did win Best of Breed one time. Um, and then she won first in her class at one of our other shows. So she's not a bad rabbit at all. Camera is not focusing right. Come on, it's focus. The black rabbit, it doesn't know how to focus on the black rabbit. There we go. <laughs> okay, read. Let's weigh him really quickly. Um, up until recently, I wasn't using software at all. I was just keeping it on like basically just like printed like or uh, InDesign files, like records like that. But recently, I got Global Pedigree, which has been pretty nice actually. So Global Pedigree is what I would recommend. There are so many rabbits in the database. This guy is the smallest one yet. He is four pounds, 6.7 ounces. Oh, sorry, dude, I didn't mean to do that. your head in there. There we go. <laughs> He's trying to put his head out. <laughs> Okay, so that's 185. Um, so including the grow out pins, I have 
26, 27 pages. And I honestly could not tell you how many rabbits I have right now. <laughs> it could take me a while to figure that out. There's lots of little tiny babies out there right now. With their moms. are making this very easy on me. Thank you. All right, we have three left and I'm running out of daylight. <laughs> I don't want to have to bring in the other o-ring in here. Hoping that this little one that I have does the job. How much meat am I keeping and how much am I selling? I don't sell meat. I don't really sell rabbit meat. Um, Cause we usually, we usually eat it or our dogs usually eat it. So I don't uh, sell the meat usually. I can't tell if it's the fur, but the other one had kind of the exact same thing where it looked like there was a teeny tiny notch in the end of the ear, but honestly, I can't tell if it's the fur or not. I don't think it really super duper matters. It's just something I keep note. I, I just noticed on the last one and I noticed it on this one. <laughs> Actually, let's put this in your ear first here before you start freaking out on me. Okay. Five foot by two foot cages? Those are some spoiled rabbits if that's just like how much space you're giving one rabbit. Okay, there we go. Relax. That's definitely a buck. Um, I didn't say how much I'm selling them for because right now I said in one of my last live streams, but even then it's just raised just a tad bit because the price of my feed has risen. Um, so I am not really, I'm not really stating like how much it is because it could always change. So I am going to put this O-ring, sorry, I don't want to put it in front of you guys. See if that helps just a little bit. Not O-ring. What's it called? Ring light. I don't know why I kept calling it an O-ring. Yeah, it's it's just not possible for me to really... I mean, it could change like in a week. You never know. So I don't really want to say anymore. It, they're competitive though, I mean. 
I actually kind of like this guy. He's leaning. He wants to lean over on this side, but it feels nice. He's leaning, dude. He's the first one that's been doing that. I don't dislike him. I think he needs to grow. pretty good actually. He's probably got more depth than most of them. Grows a bit fly back. No, I don't ship rabbits. I kind of like him. He needs to grow though, for sure. Four pounds, 11 ounces. Tatted, my dude. He's pretty chill compared. <laughs> no, so, stop, Tiffany. Don't keep saying that they're chill. <laughs> compared to the others, though, he's nice. <laughs> My favorite part about rabbit husbandry. I don't know. I mean, trying to get the perfect rabbit through selective breeding. Like, every time I do a new pairing, I always get super excited because I'm just like, what if this is the pairing that really gives me some nice quality rabbits, you know? Not that I don't have nice quality rabbits. I mean, I think that I don't think they're bad quality rabbits. But, like, I always think, like, man, what if, you know, what if this pairing was, like, the magic pairing? Like, that type of thing. I always get excited about that. But also, the babies. <laughs> I mean, hands down, the babies are, like, one of the very best parts about doing rabbits. They're so much fun. But then also the self-sustainability aspect of it. This makes me very proud and, um, sorry, I'm trying to move the light. It makes me very proud and I just love knowing where my meat is coming from and it, it feels cleaner to eat that way, in my opinion. It just feels more fulfilling. Almost did the wrong number, guys, but I didn't. This 
This litter is just making it too easy for me. Um, I just saw Elsie's really quickly first. Am I keeping any of them? No, I don't plan on keeping any of them. I have, there, well, for one, I don't know if you heard this part of the live stream, but there are seven bucks and two does. <laughs> I really do like one of the does, but I don't think that I'm going to be keeping her. Um, I had a 4-H lady reach out to me recently, and I really like helping um, local 4-H people, like kids, because it reminds me of myself when I was really young. So uh, I really like helping out with that. It was just very inspiring for me to have rabbits when I was a kid, so I want to impart that on somebody else. And then maybe they will become a crazy rabbit lady like me when they're 30 years old. Um, do I butcher my rabbits by myself? How do I do it? So Jameson helps me cull them. Um, I can do it. I've done, I've culled rabbits before, but, uh, he really is in charge of that part for the most part. And we tag team, but we do it like completely ourselves. Um, we do it out in the garage during winter and then during uh, the warmer months, we'll do it out at our, our tree out in the backyard. So uh, it's easy to butcher rabbits once you get past, past the, like, the mental, like, oh, you know, they're cute, which they are cute. They're also an amazing source of protein that is extremely healthy for you. It's one of the most, it's one of the healthiest proteins out there. It's very, very lean. It's very easy to raise these guys. So um, if you can get past the cuteness factor, they're actually, they're very easy to butcher and process yourself. And no, I do not only eat rabbit. <laughs> we also eat quail. We also have, um, and you guys probably didn't know this, but we also had a pig raised by my parents last year. So we also eat pork that we, that was from our pig. It's our pig. I mean, we didn't have it here at our property, but um, it was our pig. So yeah. And then, you know, occasionally we'll go to the store and we'll buy like shrimp or uh, ribeye or whatever. It would be really cool to have a cow, but we can't really afford to do that right now. So we don't really eat ribeye a whole lot, <laughs> but when we do, it's amazing. It'd be really cool to have a cow someday, meat cow. Yeah, you are leaning, my dude. I do like you, though. I think you're cute. I don't think that he's bad. I just put on the note, kind of like. <laughs> kind of like him. <laughs> we'll look at you again in a week. All right, we've got two left. This is a big one. We might be the biggest in the litter. I like you. Look at you. You have some very pretty foxy fur, my friend. Oh, I love that fur. This is a nice buck. Oh my goodness, guys, look at that. He's not bad at all. Do not make me keep a buck. Do not make me do it. <laughs> Gosh, he's a nice one. Let me bump that up so you guys can see him a little bit better. Look at that. Look at fox fur. Gosh, my dude, you are pretty. Yeah, he's lush. Yes, that's a good word for it. Oh man, he's my favorite so far, I think. TS187. And he poses really well too. I hope he keeps that up. I love rabbits when I put them on the table and pose them. They just stay like that. I love it when they do that. You are a very pretty guy. 
Just like when I pose one up perfectly, I'm just like, let's just keep him like that for as long as possible. You're probably gonna not like this though. Oh my gosh, he's not even flinching. Guys, I cannot keep another buck. I can't, can't do it. <laughs> Maybe you should hold on to him for a little bit longer. <laughs> Yeah, he is the best so far. I like him. Oh, he's so chill. Yep, definitely a buck. Did not have to check. <laughs> There's so many of them. Um... I saw bunny rabbits, um, how do you cull? We do cervical dislocation. So it's very, very quick, very painless, and it's instant. So it's it basically just, it cuts off signal to the brain the quickest, um, making for a very, ooh, okay, okay, whoa. Not touching the teeth again, but I did see them. They look fine. I'm sorry, he did not want me to look at the teeth. Oh, he's, now he's mad. I'm sorry. Love me again, my guy. I like you. Love me. <laughs> oh, he doesn't want his face touched. You're fine. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get you in. Actually, no, let's weigh you. I think that he's the biggest one. Let's see if my intuition is correct. Don't touch it. Oh yeah. Five pounds, 3.6 ounces. Biggest one yet. Back off of that. My homestead is point zero. It is zero point three seven acres. It's quite small because we're in suburbia, but we love it, and we make we definitely make the most of our space for sure. We are actually almost maxed out. There is something people are going to kill me because I keep saying I'm not going to add anything else. Oh, you're okay, my dude. Keep your head in there. Uh, I keep saying I'm not going to add anything else, but this year I'm just like, oh, but it would be so easy to do this. Honestly, it would be very easy to do what I'm thinking about doing. So we will see. I don't want to talk about it yet. I think it would be really cool, though. Keep your head in there, dude. If anybody's wondering, I wrap them very tightly like this because I don't want them to hurt themselves. I've seen lots of people tattoo rabbits where they just don't have a good grip on the rabbit. I've heard of people getting rabbits that have broken their backs during tattooing, like all sorts of things. So. I just pretty much straight jacket them up. <laughs> so I, I just don't want them to be, I don't want them to be able to move, really. That's the goal here. Okay, CS 187. You guys have to tell me that I'm not allowed to have another buck. <laughs> Hello. And his head just popped out. No, dude, get back in there. There we go. Good job. Stay in there.
given me the most trouble so far with tattooing. But it's time for cotton ball. As some, somebody is trying to escape. Yeah, I left it open, hoping that nobody would jump out. Yes? Did you make food? I did. Um, do you want me to have it with you? No, I'm making my own right now. Okay, well, thank Love you. you Love you, babe. Love you, babe. Jameson just brought me dinner. Hello, Whitney. Oh, man. I need to redo the tea just a tad bit. Um, so Akari, we tattoo rabbits to identify them, uh, and it's required to show a rabbit as well. So these rabbits are pedigreed, so they just need tattoos to identify who they came from, uh, all of that. So am I messy with the ink? I've, I've already done eight. I've done eight rabbits. I don't think that's too messy for eight rabbits. <laughs> Oh, yeah, my food. It's impossible to eat a meal without fur somewhere. Yeah, it's it's not mean. We do use numbing spray. Where they just are wrapped up like in straight jackets, so they don't move. But they. We have numbing spray, so essentially it just feels like um, probably like a little bit of a poke here and there, but it really is, it's not like abuse or like hurting them or anything like that, so. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I love this buck though, he's really nice. Okay, so um, we can pause, I guess. I can eat. Oh, there's like two tacos here, look at this. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> One of them fell off. <laughs> That is so sad. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am not, I'm not going to eat that one. Oh, that's so sad. Because it went like on, it, it went like on top of the dirty cotton balls. That is so sad. <laughs> well, anyway, I've got one. <laughs> you probably had, well, Ari is going to love that. She is going to love that. You want some? I am sad. <laughs> Somebody needs to record that and or actually I will just take that and just show that on Instagram later. That's funny. Um and very sad. <laughs> this day hates me. You getting it? Yeah, Ari's eating it. There's literally so many things though. About yeah, the new TikTok really is. That may have been my first like legit blooper. Yeah. So nice. <laughs> it is getting so dark, you guys. But anyway, um, yesterday we smoked two rabbits, bacon wrapped, smoked rabbit. I'm also probably gonna ink all over my face too. Um, but we bacon wrapped and smoked two rabbits. One of them was for Ollie and one of them was for us. And 
So we always have leftovers because we don't usually eat like the entire thing. So Jameson made tacos with the leftovers. So I just wasted all of that rabbit and bacon, <laughs> which makes me really sad. What a mess. <laughs> mm. So anyway, <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> The one that didn't fall though is very good. If anyone is just joining in, I just dropped a taco, like my taco that I was supposed to eat, onto the fur covered, dirty, like desk and dirty cotton balls that I've been using for the rabbits. Yeah, just wasted a taco. I'm very sad. Okay. I have one more rabbit to go. I'm losing steam. I think I will put that on TikTok. <laughs> okay. I don't know where to put this. Okay, last one. Yeah, Ari loves it. It's a combination of rice, bacon, and rabbit. Glad that Ari's enjoying herself. Oh, you do not back up. There might actually be more in there, so it might not be the end of the world. Because <laughs> we're almost done, so. This one's like got a bit of a toot. He like pushed on me. I'm sorry. Some rice on yourself, my dude. Oh yeah, he's got a bit of an attitude. Patrick Wilson. All does are kind of different. I've had does pull in the middle of the night and I've had does pull in the middle of the day early morning and late at night. So it really just depends on the dough. I think it depends on her comfort level with you too. I feel like most of my does that pull during the day are very comfortable being around me and don't really, like they're not scared of a whole lot. I feel like a lot of does do it at night because maybe they don't, maybe it feels safer than, I don't know. We'll take that as factual. That's just me kind of spitballing. All right, that's good. It's a little bit flighty. Not a bad looking dude, just a bit high strung, huh? Nice. That's really cool. Okay, this will be the S1 
Oops, TS188. Buck. Hold well, still, my dude. Your four week old kids are watching, that's cute. I will be glad when these guys are completely done. I've been putting them off. Casually eating a taco in the background. <laughs> oh, I just realized I'm casually eating rabbit in front of my rabbits. Whoops. Alexis, I have never had that happen, but I've heard weird stories about it happening to people. So we just don't put bucks next to those. We don't do that anyway because I feel like the bucks spray more when there's a doe nearby. So... Just my opinion. Tracy, you missed me dropping my taco. <laughs> Blooper worthy. Jameson came in here, gave me two beautiful tacos, and I went to show it to the camera, and one of them just fell right off into the dirty cotton balls that I've been using to tattoo the rabbits. <laughs> it is my luck today. Lots of
that's awesome. Very cool. I swear to you guys, this is the last bite. My only taco. <laughs> Makes such crazy. Okay, this is the last one. Thank goodness. But anyway, we did not. We did not weigh this one. Not all. Um, so I was talking about, I saw Alexis had just asked about this, focus, um, focus, there we go. Uh, I don't know if it's reverse for you guys. I don't think it is, but this is chapstick. Um, I believe that I am allergic or have weird reactions at least to the ingredient in chapstick that is just randomly called flavor. And it's in almost every single chapstick out there. I can't frame it right. I'm sorry. Um, but that's why my lips are always chapped. I started using this stuff and my lips are like not chapped anymore, which is crazy. So I think that I am just, I've got like a weird reaction to the ingredient called flavor. It's in, it's in Carmex, it's in Vaseline, it's in like everything. It's frustrating that it's in like everything, even the medicated ones. It's like really crazy. Um, he's four point four, or he's four pounds, 14 ounces, by the way. Um, so it's called Moroccan, Moroccan magic, um, made with sunflower oil, beeswax, argan oil, coconut oil, vitamin E, and a couple of other things, but like, it's all natural. And when I ordered it on Amazon, they sent me three, like the three was like the minimum that I could buy. I don't really need three tubes of chapstick, so I decided that those ingredients are very, very similar to the bun balm that I use. So I just started using it on them as I was tattooing them tonight. And I think that it's going to work well. And it's nice to be able to apply it with the tube, too. It's really nice. Okay, put you back. You say hello? Come here. Good girl. This is my baby. Oh, I know. You wanted to add your whole taco. Yeah, you had a lot of taco meat. That's nice for you. It's nice that you got to eat my taco. She's a good girl. You good? Yeah. We're almost done. <laughs> she is. She's a very good dog. I love my Aria. Get this thing out of the way. Okay, well. Sorry, guys. I know that this has been a... If you watch the whole thing, kudos. I've just been very low energy tonight. Um, don't really, I don't feel really peppy. I've not really felt peppy for the last several days and I'm not really sure why. Um, I just kind of feel very tired and not very inspired. So I promise you the next live stream will be a little bit more upbeat. This one I was just in the phase of, okay, I know I want to live stream this. I know you guys enjoy seeing it. 
I don't think that you guys super duper care. And I think that you relate because I am human and I just, I feel this way sometimes. So, uh, yeah, I, I think that you guys still appreciate it, even though I'm not like, oh my gosh, look at this. And like all, I, I'm not energetic. <laughs> I just needed to get it done. <laughs> so, uh, I really do thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, despite not having a ton of energy. So I will try to drink an espresso <laughs> before the next one. And no, but for, for real though, um, the next one will be, will be a little bit more, like I'll talk a little bit more <laughs> in the next one. <laughs> so yeah. I am probably gonna get off of here See if there's anything left in the way of a second taco, and if not, that's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys. But yeah, I need to take these guys back out. Um, I need to do chores. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be yeah. I need to I need to fill up both of my five gallon water jugs. It's gonna be chores are kind of intensive tonight, so I'm probably gonna get off of here and go do that. So but yeah, thank you guys. Okay, well I'm gonna get off of here and I hope that you guys have a very good night. And hopefully I will have a video up this week. Hope. I really it'll probably be a vlog, but hopefully I'll have one up this week. So alrighty. Thank you. See you guys later.